Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I know it might not feel like it to you guys because I had some content pre-filmed, like my last two vlogs were pre-filmed from like two weeks ago. Yeah, it's been like probably at least two weeks, if not two and a half weeks, I can't even remember. I think it was like right around two weeks since I've last vlogged and like sit down and talk to the camera. So it actually feels like it's been so long right now. It is October. The last time I talked to you guys, I think was like around September 18th. So it has become seriously like full fall vibes here. It's been in the 50s every day for the past like four days. It's been rainy. I've been lighting my fall candles. I'm just, I'm in full long sleeves and jeans. Like it's fully happening. <laughs> what else? I went on my annual family vacation. We call it Hughes Giving. <laughs> and that was so fun. This year we went to Newport Beach. So I'll insert like some photos on the screen as I'm talking. It was amazing. My family surprised me like two days after my birthday with a sunset boat ride around like the harbor and Newport Beach. It was so freaking beautiful. It was so nice, you guys. I was really able to relax. Also an update for you guys, I'm still doing my 75 soft challenge and I kind of feel like I haven't talked about it in a while, but behind the scenes, I've still been doing it. I will say it was really hard on my trip to like keep up with all the goals. Personally, I've been really struggling with the water intake, so I'm not gonna act like I've been doing it perfectly. Like I've definitely been getting my workouts in every day. I have been doing the no drinking unless it's like social setting, which is like one of the rules and that's, that's been nice. It's been a change, but I, I've been feeling good. I will say I've been struggling a lot with the water intake. So I definitely have not been succeeding at that. It's just so much water. It's like three liters of water a day, which comes out to like about a hundred ounces, but I've probably only been getting like 50 to like 70 ounces of water a day, but I'm not gonna let the water intake like take me out of the challenge You know what I mean? Like I'm committing to this for 75 days and that is part of it But I will say it's not been a very like achievable part on my Part I just want to like put it out there that I'm still doing this until it's gonna be like I think after Thanksgiving when I finish. So this will be pretty much the next two months of my life. So um, we're only, I think like day 20 something of 75. So that's been going on behind the scenes. And now it's Tuesday. Today I'm gonna work out at 4.30. I'm gonna go to my cycling class, you guys know. Other than that, I wanna look at some real footage that I got and quickly edit that. I don't even know if I'm gonna put post it. I filmed it like three weeks ago and I decorated for fall and I just want to see if it turns out good. If it turns out and it's not that cute, I'm not going to post it. It's going to be more of like a chill, relaxed day. It's already like two o'clock because it's definitely going to be more of like a chill week. I've kind of already caught up on like my errands and like laundry and stuff. We'll see what happens in this vlog. Welcome back, you guys. All right, I'm going to head up to the office and do a little bit of editing, like I said, and do a little bit of work on that reel. Just catch up on some worky stuff and just enjoy this week more exciting things at least for me um first of all jared got me this knife set for my birthday it's so beautiful and so nice it comes with this beautiful knife block and all these white matching knives the brand is called wustoff they're from williams sonoma and they're so beautiful you guys this is like such a nice birthday gift just getting like actual nice quality knives and like a whole big set so you guys will be seeing these a lot in the cooking portions of upcoming vlogs speaking of cooking i also just got i feel like i'm literally 20 years late to the game but i just got a crock pot and we're using it for the first time today and jared basically prepped some i'm not going to open the lid because i don't want to interrupt the cooking but jared basically prepped some potatoes and some chicken i'll show you guys how this turns out for dinner tonight but yeah literally just got a crock pot so definitely comment down below if you guys have any like trusty crock pot recipes that are your go-to's i'm literally brand new to the slow cooker life and i'm so excited to just like use this and have like cozy meals this fall and winter and get into this amazing like easy just cook it all day and serve it up when it's dinner time like this is incredible here are my sweet boys on there <laughs> Each of them just folded up a blanket for themselves. Here's my squirrel. Here's my chaluda. He's like, what the hell is that thing? I don't think he's fully adjusted to the camera like Squirtle has been for his whole life, but my sweet boys are taking a little nap. 
It's a rainy day. We made this tomato soup the other night, like two nights ago, and we're down to some of the ends of the leftovers. And I'm having some for lunch now, it's really good. And I'm air frying a little cheesy bread because I always, you always have to dip some grilled cheese or cheesy bread in tomato soup. I'm just adding some parm and we'll do some everyday seasoning. Yum. Absolutely perfect fall day lunch. Here's my little cheese toasty. You give it a little dip. Don't even need the plate, honestly. That is perfection. Let's do a haul from the container store. I actually got this while I was out of town and I haven't even opened it yet. And y'all know, I love a container store. <laughs> I'm very excited. I actually had um, a $50 gift card that I won at our work meeting that we had like the day before my birthday. Personally, this is very exciting stuff for me. <laughs> Y'all know. Okay. I felt like I ordered more than this, but I guess this is it. <laughs> okay, and basically this entire order was inspired by stuff that we use at work that I really like, that I haven't tried for my own house, but we use a lot at work. And the fact that I had a $50 gift card, obviously. The first thing is these, it's called the Acacia Stacking Stackable Storage Bin. And you can put them next to each other if you want. I'm definitely going to stack it. And we use these in a bunch of pantries. They're really good for like bars, like individual bars, which I have in a weird, spot i'll have to show you guys i'm gonna like update my pantry a little bit this was honestly the main reason for my order i got these bin clips so this is what they look like these go on to baskets and stuff and we use these at work for like every pantry that we do so tidy style has their own labels now which is really exciting for like spice jars and then pantry labels and we have them i think in white black and navy so everyone from the team got to pick one so i haven't actually opened mine yet there's tons of labels in here this is like i don't know if you want to pause that but that's like everything that's in here let me know like down below if any of you guys would be interested in purchasing something like this i might try to talk to my boss about like being able to um sell them to you guys if anyone's interested that is got these so I can stick them onto these and also some of these will just be for like my dry goods that I have in like jars and yes I am nerding out over this because I'm seriously so excited to have matching labels of everything okay these are just some little storage bins that we use they're called smart store inserts and i got four and i'm just going to use these to organize some of my deeper baskets that i already have like for little tiny things that are kind of floating around in a basket and then lastly we use these pretty much every day at work they're called multis multi-purpose bins they come in like four different sizes this is the medium and it holds cans perfectly um canned goods and stuff so i already have like storage for my cans but i want to use this in my back stock because i find that i always have like extra cans or like even for drink cans just like extra stuff i'm gonna put this in my back stock basket and use it to like keep that stuff together anyway that's my whole order i swear i got something else but like i don't know why i feel like i got more i guess this is a good amount of stuff but i want to show you guys what the pantry looks like right now all right you guys have probably seen my pantry i've shown it so many times i want to put labels on my little jars i mean they're just kind of unlabeled right now and i feel like they'll look so good with all matching labels uh, this is where i have my like single snacks popcorn little fruit snacks and honestly it's just not the best looking thing for that so that is why i wanted to get those little stacking ones that i showed you guys and 
we're gonna probably change out this. Maybe I'll use the turntable somewhere else in here. And then we have like my little baskets that hopefully, I have to see how it fits, but hopefully like the labels will fit really nicely right here. This is like bread and then this is like single serve stuff that I have. So yeah, I wanna get the labels on these and my other baskets, which are like a little messy right now. I'll probably do a quick like retouch of these. This is my back stock box that I was talking about with you guys. Once again, it's a little messy right now, but this is where I want to put that like can thingy inside of here and just where I keep some of my snacks and we have like extra dog food in there. This is just basically what it says, like the back stock of stuff that's already out. Honestly, the can storage looks so nice right now. Loving this. These clear bins are actually just like in bulk on Amazon. I'll link them down below because I think I have like eight of them or something. These baskets are also like canned drinks because Jared and I just like have a lot of canned drinks all the time. These baskets, I don't remember if I've shown these in my vlog, but they're so cute. I know I've shown them on Instagram. I will link them on the Target website down below. They're so pretty. This is my little can good storage that I was talking about, by the way. It's pretty full right now. There's like a few empty spaces in the back. And then I don't know if I've shown you guys this. It honestly is a little messy looking, but it is so functional to be honest with you. This is like an extra large, I think it's a 15 inch Lazy Susan turntable. And this is so functional. I'll keep like honeys, little things like that, coconut oil, peanut butter. It's really good for stuff like that that you just wanna have like at easy access. Like I said, it's not the most like visually appealing, but to be honest, it is very, functional. I have another turntable back here actually of like sauces that we just don't reach for as often and they fit really nicely in here. This is one thing I learned at work is like utilizing the corners because it's not like an easy reachable area like you really have to reach for it for turntables because you can easily like grab something or you can turn it to find what you need and grab it. Anyway, it's actually already almost four o'clock. I didn't have that much time to do stuff today because I just find it really, I know I've talked about this before, but I just find it really difficult. A 4.30 class with my schedule is really difficult, but I obviously have to see Kim, my queen, and it's literally one of the only things that I go to at the Y anymore, so. That's pretty much the only thing I'm using my membership for is this class. I'm gonna start getting ready for that and I'm probably not gonna be able to do my pantry until later on in this vlog. 10 second workout outfit of the day. Top slash bra is from Girlfriend. The leggings are so comfortable. These are like, I swear, my new favorite leggings. They're from Story. I'll put like how to spell it on the screen. They're so comfy though. I actually have their leggings in a few different colors, but something about these black ones is like, they're just so soft and comfortable. Okay, putting on my shoes, heading out to cycling. It's gonna be a good class. Okay, I stopped at Albertsons on the way back from my class and I just got just a few things that we were kind of running low on. I got some, ex well, <laughs> I got some extra creamy oat milk, sweet butter lettuce. We're making a salad with this right now and about to be out. So I've just been buying these bags of it because we don't like use it that often. So I feel like a smaller amount has just been working for us. Then I got a half loaf of sourdough. I love that you can get a half loaf. It is so great. I got two cream of chicken soups because I want to make a hash brown casserole probably this weekend. And this is one of the ingredients. So I just got a backup one to have for the next time that I want to make it. And then two rusted potatoes for a recipe that I'll probably make maybe like Thursday night or Friday night. Two little tiny avocados, one that's pretty much ready to go, so I'll try to use this tomorrow and one that needs a couple days. So, that is it. Okay, we had, we've had this chicken and potatoes going, whoa! But Jared put this in here probably around like noon, and the potatoes look so good. And I'm gonna have him shred up my chicken breast because I kinda wanna eat it all together instead of like cutting the chicken. This was just like a garlic potatoes and chicken dish. Super, super easy. So hopefully it's good. Got a nice side salad for our meal tonight. Jared made this.
and they look so freaking good they're like the black with the white was just such a good choice i'm so glad i did black and white instead of like white on white it looks so nice said which ones I like it more on this it looks so good too I was worried it wouldn't fit on this tiny little like clip thingy but it literally was made for it, it fits so perfect I was just labeling these baskets these ones that are right here i feel like it looks funny to keep the thing up so i feel like it looks better like that right doesn't it but i can't push it down <laughs> on all of them maybe i just need to like push this back okay that's better i feel like that definitely looks better okay this one i was going to show you guys this is like one of the baskets that's particularly weirdly organized because there's so many like little things for baking and it's all kind of as you can tell like spilled out right now so i want to use those inserts that i got probably at least two of them in here to organize this littler stuff i also don't really think these should be in here i don't remember why i put these in here i guess i ran out of room up here with the other ones but we'll try to reorganize so that stuff can all fit together. Okay, here's how it turned out. I feel like it looks so much better. Sorry, the lighting in here is bad, you guys. I know I say that a lot when I'm in here. And this one, I did like my sprinkles and like cake topping stuff. And this one, it was kind of random. I did like extra extracts, some chocolate bars that I have for baking. And then I did like yeast packets because those are small and they get like lost in the basket. The rest of it was just the rest of the stuff that i had in here before we kind of had to put like this stuff in the back these are so good in here you guys oh my gosh i might have to order more of these because these are really really helpful if you have like a taller basket i'm pretty sure these ones are like 10 inches tall so they are pretty tall because you can't like from this angle you can't really see what's in it so if i am going to be using these in here it's really nice to have um not only the label but the inserts as well and those look so much better than before, I feel like. Tell me what you guys think. Those look so much better with the labels. If you guys saw how I organized this, I did all our single serve popcorn on the bottom. Yes, we have a lot. I've restocked recently. I really like these mini bags, so that's why we have like a lot of popcorn, but it fit perfectly, which was so exciting. And we don't really need like complete easy access to that. So I put it on the bottom and you can just like pull out the one that's in front. And then this was so perfect for fruit snacks, which I know were like 
28 and 29 years old and we have fruit snacks, but they're like one of my bedtime treats. I like to have them and I don't feel like super guilty about having a little pack of them. So that's why we have a lot of fruit snacks. And then I put all my protein bars in the front. And the way this wood is working with the dark brown in the baskets, I mean, it is just making so much sense to me. Y'all don't understand. I'm obsessed literally looks so good i had to put hot drinks on the one that says coffee and baking on the one that is blueberry muffin mix because that one is oddly specific but baking definitely makes sense and i felt like it was really weird that there wasn't a label that said coffee but hot drinks is the closest thing so at least there was that okay guys i'm having to cut myself off for the night because i'm getting a little crazy with it but i wanted to show you what i finished with. I labeled all of these, which is like uh, mostly like baked good things. And then I have one of those extra bins that I haven't filled up. I'm not sure if I, well, I'm sure I'll fill it with something, but I'm not sure what to put in it yet. Then over here we have my jars, which I know they're not like fully cohesive with these, which I really like these too, but I feel like the jars fit more, you know what I mean, than these taller ones in the back these are from target by the way i'll link them down below they're pretty affordable i have the top four of the taller ones and then i have like five or six of the smaller ones these are only like four bucks and they're great they keep everything like really sealed and they're just like super neutral i feel like they look so nice with the labels but anyway back to the jars i feel like i'm hesitant to switch all of mine and get rid of the jars i have like 10 big ones in the back and they're just like really affordable and i have these cute like mason jar lids for them so anyway i didn't label any of those i'm not sure if i will to be honest these don't have like a blank side to them so this is the most blank side so i would have to put the label up here which it's on like a it's not on a flat surface so i feel like it would look kind of strange so i didn't i didn't do it but i did decide to go ahead and label the stuff in the front just because, I don't know, I feel like it looks cohesive with the other stuff over there. Once again, I thought it was weird that there wasn't one that said breadcrumbs or panko. So I just put meal prep because that's the closest thing. And then I showed you guys all these that we did. showed you these that I did earlier. There's the backstock bin, by the way. I did end up labeling the little, um, what's it called? The turntable that I did back there. These I haven't labeled, but maybe I will if there's some that say tea because I'll always basically keep tea in these. But yay, I'm so happy with how these turned out specifically. Like, I feel like these ones look amazing. I'm so glad I did these ones. It was hard to get them lined up. <laughs> I did my best, but they're never gonna be perfect and that's just something you have to, you have to go with. <laughs> All right, well, I'm cutting it off here for now. You guys, we're gonna watch something and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hi guys, it is Wednesday afternoon now. I wasn't able to film this morning before work because I kind of slept a little, a little bit in, so I didn't have that much time to get ready. I didn't sleep in too late, you know what I mean? But I, I delayed my alarm long, longer than I probably should have, but it was just so warm and cozy in my bed and it was a really gloomy morning, so it was just one of those mornings, so I didn't end up filming anything this morning. But anyway, I just finished my job. It's four o'clock right now, and we did a garage today. It was actually a client that I had done her kitchen and then closet back in July. She remembered me, and we talked a little bit today, and yeah, we helped her with her garage today. It was really nice because she has this whole, had this whole like big long garage storage room. So that was really nice. We utilized that. We pretty much fit like everything in there. We fit like 95% of her stuff just in the room that wasn't even in the garage. Um, if that, well, it was in the garage, but you know what I mean? It was like a whole separate storage room with shelves and everything. And then we just had to put like some bikes and like some of the bigger stuff out, but it was literally like 95% of it fit in the garage storage room. And it has like a door that you can close it and everything thing like that. So that was really nice. I feel like all garages should come with that because it's just so easy once you actually like get your cars in your garage to not have much room in there. It was a pretty good day. I got either 7,500 or 8,000 steps at the job today, which is crazy. Just from doing a garage, getting that many steps yesterday to put it into perspective for you, I only got like 
I think I maybe got 4,500 or 5,000 or something yesterday and I like was out. Like I went to the YMCA <laughs> and today just doing the job in the garage. I got like almost 8,000, which is so great. I'm really, really hungry. I had time to eat like a little bit of my snacks, but not everything. So I'm really hungry right now. So I think I'm gonna munch while I'm finishing this drive home and check in with you guys a little bit later when I get home. Doing laps with Cholula at the park. <laughs> Yay, Cholula! <laughs> Oh, he's picking up speed again. Woo! <laughs> Squirtle's just sniffing, as he does. We've got some very, very early, early fall foliage. Not much. It's mostly still green around here, but check out this tray. She's, she's a little yellow. Sorry, I'm filming on my phone, so it's not the best quality, but. We brought the doggies out to this ginormous fenced in park and field, so we're probably going to let Cholula off here in a minute. Hi you guys, I'm in bed and it's, I don't even know, 3.30, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, it's 4 o'clock. I've just had one of those days, you guys. I've been on my period this week and I just have had such low energy today and I'm just feeling totally off. I am just having one of those days where like something really little happens and it just stresses you out. I don't know, I just took the dogs on a walk and Cholula slipped his collar two times and we were talking to um, this lady that the dogs, she has a dog that the dogs really get along with so whenever we see her, which is like pretty much every few days, we always say hi and me and her like chat for a minute and the dogs like save each other and Squirtle really likes the dog. Usually it's at the park and today we saw them on like the sidewalk by the main road outside my neighborhood and Cholula slipped his collar twice which it's on the tightest setting and he really doesn't do that so I I do not know how it happened I'm gonna have to have Jared like look at it and put another hole in it because there's no tighter setting and I don't really want to get a new collar so anyway that happened and literally the second time it happened a car was like going by on the side of the street that we were on the second he like got out of his collar and he started like going into the street and it just was so scary. I literally like had a whole moment and like it was just one of those moments that I like started tearing up and just like freaked out. I think I need to have a moment. Update guys, I'm no longer crying. <laughs> it's just one of those days you guys. I know we've all been there. Um, I'm just ultra sensitive I feel like when I'm on my period and sometimes I don't even realize it. I'm just, I can't control it. It's just my body, okay? I have to be honest with you guys. I have just no energy right now. <laughs> As you can tell, that's why I'm in bed with the Squishmallows. But I am making myself be a little bit productive because I really haven't done much today. So I am editing this vlog footage so far. I'm having one of those like, I think it's because I have a headache and I cried. I'm just like so hazy behind my eyes and my head right now and I'm so tired. I'm like, girl, we got great sleep last night. Like truly, I feel, I mean, I feel like I did. So I don't know what's going on. I'll be honest with y'all. I canceled my Pilates class. I was going to go to Pilates at 630. I'm not feeling it. Today will either be like an active recovery day which is once a week for 75 soft or I might, you know, depending on how I feel in a couple hours, I might try and do like some sort of like a simpler home workout. But right now I feel like sitting in bed and pretty much doing nothing, but I'm making myself edit so I feel productive. That's just what it is today, y'all. So this is where I'll be. Um, <laughs> will I do anything else today? <laughs> we will see.
Tonight we're making shepherd's pie. We've only made this one time before. It was like two years ago, like when we first moved in. It's one of Jared's favorite recipes. So I think this is a recipe we used last time. It's literally just like the first one that pops up when you search shepherd's pie recipe from the wholesome dish. guys we are assembling our shepherd's pie so it's basically mashed potatoes and then the meat and veggie mixture which we were working on for a while i was feeling extra and wanting to use our mini um, dutch ovens to layer it instead of just layering it all in a big dish but you could definitely do that it's probably a little bit easier but i wanted to put it in these little guys and then we'll use these little ramekins and See if we have any leftovers i guess so you just put the meat mixture and then you put the mashed potato on top and then i think you just bake it bake uncovered 25 to 30 minutes we are gonna add a little bit of everyday seasoning but look how good they look the meat layer is under there obviously we actually had no mashed potatoes left but a good amount of the meat mixture so that's okay we'll just save that i guess oh yeah it's bubbling we cooked it only for like 15 minutes, so. But I mean, everything was already cooked through pretty much, so it was just to bake it together. Parsley. excited about this breakfast sandwich we got english muffin avocado an egg with some melty crispy cheese tomato bacon and more english muffin <gasps> looks so good what's up you guys it is friday it's already like the afternoon now i woke up and did an orange theory workout i ran a couple errands i like picked up my prescription and just had to grab like a couple things from rite aid so did that came home had some food as you guys saw just took a shower did a tan and now i am finally going to unpack from the trip i got home from eight days ago this is bad like i will say i'm definitely not a person that unpacks right when I get home from a trip. I I honestly don't even think I aspire to that because to be honest, it's just not realistic for me. I know I'll never be that person that gets home from the airport and is like, let's unpack. Like it takes me at least a few days. I have unpacked like, you know, my toiletry bag and I did some laundry with like my dirty clothes, but I haven't taken the like random stuff out of my suitcase yet. So we're gonna do that. I also wanna like kind of tidy up the upstairs today. It's kind of a chill Friday. We're hanging out at home. I've gotta get a little bit of work done. Nothing crazy today. I actually edited the vlog like pretty much up until this point yesterday, which was good. So I will probably try to finish it off. We are gonna play some music. I 
have been listening to like an early 2000s throwback playlist because I feel like I like that music for like cleaning and you know something that's just like I know the words it's like fun I don't know I feel like throwback music I mean I love it in general it's like my favorite like 2008 is my favorite pretty much era of music because typically something was in the air in 2008 so we're just listening to some throwbacks today we're gonna clean up this room clean up the upstairs a little bit let's do it guys it has been a few hours since I last talked to you I have just been doing random stuff around the house I listed a few things on a Facebook marketplace and was like taking some pictures for stuff I went through our um, like linen closet in the hallway and just found a bunch of stuff that I put in there like when we moved in that we haven't even used like throw blankets and some like throw pillows so I took pictures of some of that stuff and we'll see if anything sells if not I'll just donate it that's kind of been my go-to um, with like house stuff at least. I just had some dinner, some early dinner, and just had some leftovers. Pretty much the last of the soup leftovers. I got this room all clean and tidy. I got unpacked. And for the rest of the night, I think I'm just going to try to continue my productivity. I'm gonna like try and put away some laundry and stuff like that. I probably won't film it and it's just kind of boring stuff. I mean, this is my Friday night. I'm literally like, tidying around the house but this is like very needed like it's actually making me happy to get this done because i have needed to do this i wanted to show you guys how cute this blanket that megan got me for my birthday looks in here I kind of decide where i wanted to put it but i feel like it really works so nicely with the color of my little love seat so i ended up putting it it looked like not as good kind of like cascading down off the edge if that makes sense so i decided to just like fold it nicely and lay it along the back mr squirtle just loves this spot we cleaned up in here we can see the floors again which is so nice i cleaned off and like wiped my vanity this is a pile of empties that i want to do a tiktok so don't just ignore that basket but all cute i got this cute little makeup bag when i was in um california actually and it's so adorable it's like kind of small but it's i feel like it's also like the perfect size while i'm in here <laughs> look at these squishmallow earrings that my bestie Layla got me for my birthday they're literally miss limon <laughs> and she got me a matching like miniature squishmallow that i put in my car that's the same thing. These are so cool. I'll put the girl that makes these, her shop on the screen. I'm pretty sure she like custom makes them. Check it out. These are so cute if you're a Squishmallow lover like me. And I was watching um, Gigi Gorgeous, this story time. I was getting caught up on some YouTube on my laptop while I'm just, you know, cleaning and all that stuff. Also, I didn't show this on camera just because there wasn't like a good angle, but I cleaned out and reorganized my desk drawers. I moved so much stuff just like downstairs and I got rid of some stuff that just was not like, didn't need to be in here anymore. So I created like a little electronics zone. This one is completely empty, which is good because I have room to like grow. This one back here is just like my blue light glasses. And this is all my little office supplies for the most part a lighter for the candle that i keep in here and then over here i have like my big scissors my phone cases i don't know why i keep my phone cases in my desk drawer i feel like that's kind of weird but where do you keep where are you supposed to keep something like that like in your closet i don't really know and then i have my important documents 
um, passport and stuff like that over in that big section. So I thought I'd show you all that because I had a little organizing moment earlier and I'm happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna end off this vlog here because I am just gonna be doing boring stuff the rest of the night, you guys. And I want to edit the rest of this vlog and get it up tomorrow for you. So I know this vlog was a little more like homebody, just not the most exciting, but some of the vlogs you guys know are just like that. We're just like getting stuff done that we need to get done. And it was just a midweek, you know, it wasn't the most exciting, crazy week. I do hope you guys still enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below anything that you really like particularly enjoy seeing in the vlogs. And I always like to kind of take note of what you guys like seeing. Like, do you like seeing when I do organizing stuff? Like when I did the pantry earlier, do you like, you know, really like the grocery hauls and like when I'm out doing errands in the car, um, do you like, you know, cleaning and cooking stuff at the house? Definitely let me know what's like your favorite stuff to see in the vlogs down below. I would appreciate it and like this video if you made it until the end. And I will see you guys so soon in another video. Bye!